button. Okay. It's hot. We spent three hours at Magic Kingdom this morning. We got Space Mountain, Dwarven Mine Train, People Mover, Railroad, Big Thunder Mountain, Carousel of Progress. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then we come back to camp to eat lunch, one of her great lunches that she pre-made before the trip and has been stuck in the freezer. And now we're gonna head over to the Big Blue store because I'm low on Mountain Dews. And I'm low on lemonade. Yeah. And we just get away from the parks a little bit. And then later this afternoon we'll go over to Epcot and because we haven't spent enough time in Epcot. A few things I mean, we haven't done. So, and some things we need to redo. Yep. Including she wants to go on mission space, which means I'm just going to sit there and... Yeah, he won't go on mission space. Yeah. One second. Uh, uh, <laughs> feels so good. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> we are... Like I said, we're heading over to Big Blue Store. Who knows how long we're going to be out. An hour, two, who knows. We've burned eight days worth of theme parks. Now it's just down to the last two days and haven't done a whole lot of wandering around. So anyway, it's hot in here. Unless you want to keep seeing us go, wait a minute. <laughs> Don't know if we've mentioned it or not, but it's hot in Florida in August, especially today. It is ultra humid. I think they said it felt like 99 outside. The actual temperature was like 95. No, I think the actual temperature was like 88, and it feels like 99. But they said it would hit 95 in Orlando. Yeah, it hadn't hit that yet, mm -hmm. which means it's going to get hotter. It's going to be over 100, so we're leaving now. It feels so good. Here, comb your hair. I can't comb You're hair. on video. Straighten your hair up. I can't. And I, I just wrote a banshee through the like water and air. Good morning from Animal Kingdom. We got here before park opening and an hour and six minutes later we exited the big ride at Animal Kingdom flights of whatever passage yeah but the wait wasn't actually that long it was 36 minutes yeah 
to get to the queue and then we stood in the queue twice or the pre-show we got to sit through the pre-show twice because our banshee was apparently not feeling it yeah, today we, we had an amputee banshee or something <laughs> queued up i don't know but uh we got extra magic hour so our extra magic hour was spent in line and riding flights of passage um, we got a big day this is our final day at disney then we've got to return to the real world unless we hit the lottery on the way back the football's coming up football is coming up anyway we'll catch you guys in a bit So that was uh, Animal Kingdom. Well, we did the Pandora ride, did the safari, Kilimanjaro safari, did the walkthrough of the gorilla part. And that's about it. That was all we needed to get done this morning. Didn't take a whole lot of time to do it. There for three hours. It's 10 o'clock. So a lot of that a lot of that time was just walking through the gorilla park because she, she can sit there forever and watch the animals. So. I forced myself to move on or I'd still be there. And the birds, the macaws the right there at the end, uh, that was actually a probably not even half the population of those macaws. And I was wondering what was going on because usually that whole tree stand is filled up with birds. Nice. Tons of them swoop over you yeah. when they come in. And as we were walking away, um, we overheard one of the trainers inform the head trainer that the the bulk of the flock had flown out to Coronado Springs, one of the other hotels here. It's not too awful far from here, a couple of two or three miles maybe. But they have never lost a bird. They all usually come back. And it seems like early on in the trip, I, she told the crowd that occasionally they have to go to Coronado Springs to pick them up, which is actually kind of funny when you think about it, since I think Coronado is the one with uh, the Aztec theme. <laughs> so they funny. kind of belong there. Like, oh, it's home. <laughs> It's, it's cool. It's so cool that the birds get to fly around the park. I'm afraid they're going to stop doing that someday, but I love it. I just think it's so neat that they, they get to kind of be free, you know, do what birds do. They don't clip their wings or anything. Yep. Anyway, we're going to go find us something to eat and wander back to camp and let the dogs out and then kind of figure out what we're going to do with the rest of the day. It's going to involve Epcot, but... It's going to involve heat. Yeah, it is. It is already hot out there today. So, 
Catch you in a bit. Okay, there's a place called Club Cool at Epcot, right? Club Cool. And the big deal with all the Disney files is uh, to trick people into drinking Beverly. It's so delicious drink, you should uh, try it. So what we're going to do? Oh, wait, oh, you, Club Cool, by the way, is drinks around the world. Yeah, co from Coca-Cola. Yeah. So what we're going to do, you and I? Uh -huh. We're going to film each other drinking no. a full cup of no. Beverly. Yes, a full cup of Beverly. I haven't have felt bad this whole vacation. Okay. That's I mean, maybe it's delicious. Don't yeah. get me wrong. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you ready? Huh? I shouldn't have given you that camera. It's gonna be a full cup. <laughs> Only because I love you. I'm doing it. See, you hate me, or you wouldn't make me do this. But I love you. The whole thing? Yep. What if I can't? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't think I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me go get another drink. <laughs> Don't try it first. <laughs> All right, three, two, one, chug. <laughs> Delicious? Good stuff. <laughs>